Yo, what's going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another episode of What Would Brev Do? This is the series where I play an entire ranked game and I talk about what's going on in my head the entire time. We are doing the opposite of last episode. Last episode was a lineup full of left-handed left hitters. Uh, today's going to be a lineup full of right-handed hitters. I imagine this team's going to have a lot easier time. Um, it's good against Randy, obviously, and I generally just hit better right on right. We're trying to do a mix of like new cards and old cards, so we're using All-Star Game Buxton and Hannes Wagner. Also still have Castellanos starting, uh, Pete Alonso at first, and on the mound we're going to be using Zach Grinky, who I have at Parallel 3 just from events. He's going to be Parallel 4 after this game, which is pretty cool. Uh, but 32 innings pitch, 20-0 and 0 in events with a 338 ERA. All things considered, All-Star events, really, really good stats. Um, he does tip his pitches, which is something I'm sure you guys are waiting for me to talk about. Uh, he does tip. If you look for his hand, I'll try to point it out during the game. Um, and a lot of people say this makes him unusable, but I kind of hard disagree. He's obviously been putting up really good numbers for me too. And from my experience hitting against him, the only pitch that's like really noticeable with the pitch grip is the slider. Um, which is still kind of a hard slider to hit because he throws it like almost 90 miles an hour. And if they don't throw a slider, then you're kind of just guessing anyway. Um, not to mention the fact that most of the people I would say that you pitch against when you use Zach Grinky are not even going to know that he tips or even look for it. So all that's to say, I still think Grinky is really good. He's been putting up insane numbers for me. Uh, let's see up what we're up against this guy is using an opener with duran so i haven't actually played against an opener in one of these videos yet which is awesome uh looks like we're at a custom stadium too custom stadium on all-star i am on all-star i'm at 647 rating if you guys missed the last episode uh we had two disconnect losses to start the season after that i went right into recording this episode we got a first inning rage quit for a win and then the second game i literally uh, disconnected for a loss. So I'm 1-3 on the season with three disconnect losses. I did a lot of stuff with my router, so hopefully that fixes it. Um, kind of looks like we're on Hall of Fame, which might be a W. Let's take a look. Nice, we are on Hall of Fame. So we're at like 647, and we got a Hall of Fame game, which is really lucky. <laughs> um, so facing an opener... I don't really have a lot of experience with it, to be honest. Um, I do have a bit of experience facing Duran, which is the typical four-seam cutter dynamic that you'll see from, like, Grayson Rodriguez. Uh, as always with people with outlier, you want to make sure you're taking away that fastball as often as possible. And then if they run off speed on you, it's okay. Especially early in the game, you want to make sure you let them know that you're not going to let them throw that to you. So we take the outlier fastball up the middle for a leadoff single from Jackie. And a 2-0 count here now with Buxton. Not sure how comfortable I am swinging 2-0 with the contact that I have. He's a really pitching careful here. Definitely taking 3-0. One thing I wanted to say too, since I have a 3-1 pitch to take, you guys are most likely seeing this on Friday. I have to go out of town again this weekend, so I won't be back till Sunday. So all the extreme stuff is going to happen, you know, while I'm out of town on Friday. So the earliest I'll be posting content for Extreme will be on Sunday, unfortunately. But I'll make sure to get right on it, start grinding. If there's any, like, guides I need to make for, like, the Conquest map and, sh uh, and stuff, we'll be doing that. So just to let you guys know, Thursday through Friday's videos are pretty much recorded right now. All right, back to work against Duran. We struck out late on a splitter. I was talking. That's my excuse. Seems like he's trying to work off speed a bit more too. Duran kind of hard to steal on also. And that's a pretty good swing, but we're going to hit into a double play. And we go three up, three down here in the first. That sucks. Saw that cutter the whole way and just swung over the top. We'll see what we can do with Grinky here. Yeah, I really love this Grinky card. If you get over the fact, I'll try to point it out. Like, when I very first grab the ball, you can see the pitch grip uh, when I start my motion here. And the most obvious grip is the slider, which is what I just threw, where he only shows one finger. However, as I was saying, I don't even really think it's that big of a knock on the card. 
His stuff is phenomenal. Um, very rare to find a pitcher in this game at this point in the year that has five distinct pitch speeds. He has five pitches that are all very different speeds. Um, also has the velo too. I've thrown up to a 99 four seam with him. The sinker sits mid 90s, which is really good. Um, and not to mention the fact that most people you play against probably won't even know or pick up on the fact that he tips his pitches. But it's been all the hot rave topic in the community and call me a, a boomer or a doomer or whatever, but I don't even really think it's that big of a deal. Half the time when I'm hitting against Grinky and I'm trying to pick up on the pitch grip, it actually distracts me more than anything. But yeah, Grinky, really, really good. Um, his changeup, sinker, four seam are all really close grip-wise too. So if you feel like someone's sitting on your tips, uh, phrasing... Uh, you can definitely try to work like more sinkers and change-ups because they'll probably think it's a fastball. Anyway, solid first inning for Grinky. Again, just trying to mix speeds. I think his best pitch is probably his slider, which is a bit unfortunate because that's the one he tips the easiest. But otherwise, four-seam sinker change-up, really good. His change-up is probably his second best pitch just because it's so much slower than his other stuff. Uh, and then obviously he's got the big loopy boy curveball if you feel like you can get someone flailing at it. I need this to not get caught. We'll see if he goes four seam here with two strikes. Try to blow it by us. He's kind of pitched backwards just a little bit here recently. He did. We turned on it foul. A really smart pitch for him right now would be to double up on that, but I'm going to sit some slower stuff now, maybe splitter. That's a really smart pitch. Good job by him. If that was a splitter, we would have taken that oppo for a bomb. Still sitting off speed here. A triple up would be very weird. He threw that in the absolute perfect spot. Are we going to get safe? That's disgusting. Okay, <laughs> we're out. We're out. He deserved it. Whoa. Knocking everything around. So this is an interesting game facing Duran. Uh, you would think with the lineup that I'm using, he would just go to a righty starter right away. Uh, maybe he's worried about like some of my righties being platoon bats, so he wants to kind of feel it out. Maybe he hasn't gotten burned using Duran yet, so he wants to get a couple innings out of him. For the first point I mentioned, he could always check my bench. And he could see that all my bench is righties too, so that wouldn't be an issue. But at the end of the day, maybe he just thinks Duran gives him the best chance to keep me from scoring. I think I hit that out. That was Ron Santos' weird no-doubt animation. <laughs> the weirdest one in the game. Card has been playing surprisingly well for me, though, I will say. Wasn't expecting much from him, but he's played really, really well. That's a custom stadium bomb right there. Yeah, against Duran, I mean, just like any other outlier guy, I try to take the fastball away and then, you know, try to react to the off-speed if I can. Throws his curve so hard. His splitter and curve are thrown really hard. I almost wonder if, like, just keeping a really fast bat in general and then just, like, flailing at cutters if they throw it is the best way to go. All right, back to work on the mound. I love running the slider into lefties. You know, anybody that throws a hard slider, this is a great pitch. You can see 91 on the slider. That is a really good slider. I don't think I've thrown him a ball yet, so let's bury a change up and see. That was below the zone, but he sneaks it through, unfortunately. He's going to have a leadoff hitter here. That's okay. Now we can start to work the uh, the sinkers and stuff, try to get a double play. Additionally, I think Grinky tips less out of the stretch. Someone could correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's easier to read him out of the windup. Regardless... My personal advice if you're hitting against Grinky is I would, you know, I would just take a glance, like very initially. Basically what I do is I just see if it's a slider, and if it's not, then I go, okay, not slider. And then otherwise we move on with our life, because otherwise we're going to be too distracted. Good rip from him. Boxing with the cannon from center. Going to be a double. I need to throw this guy more balls for sure. He has chased both balls I've thrown so far this inning. This is a great spot to do it, too. We can get really cute here. Um, not only is it possible we pitch around Juan Soto to just walk him in general, but we could, in theory, walk all the way to his pitcher spot here. 
because uh, 7 and 8 could walk and load the bases. So he is probably not going to get very many strikes. And he just went ahead and swung it three straight for us. So I will take that. He bailed us out. He might have been pressing a little bit in that at bat. We'll go back to work on offense. We'll see if he leaves Duran in. Um, getting kind of up there in the pitch count. Maybe he likes to leave his opener in until the pinch hit. But there's a good chance my PCI starts getting really big here. 30 pitches through two. Looks like he is going to make a bullpen move. He could go to like one reliever into a starter, but then it's kind of awkward. Oh, he's going Randy. Okay, this is so weird. I don't know what the point of an opener is if you're going to throw Randy into a team full of righties. <laughs> I'm just going to call it how it is. Isn't the point of an opener to see what your lineup, your opponent's lineup is like and then go righty or lefty? Maybe he thinks I can't hit Randy. The disrespect. He's kind of right so far. Randy's kind of the same thing as Duran, but his off speed's way better, obviously. We just looked like a moron that at bat, so he's kind of right so far. I'm going to take a few pitches. This is a good time to do it with Grinky as well, even though he can hit a little bit. Like I said, I generally like taking away the uh, the four seam as the number one priority as a hitter against Randy. With righties, it gets interesting, though. You actually see probably more sliders and splitters with righties than you do with lefties, in my experience. So we'll see how off balance he's able to keep us. If I could hit a Grinky Bomb in this video, that would be so dope. That's gross. Yeah, 92 slider. Thought he was going to let that drop. Okay, back to the top of the order. Going to try to be patient a little bit and then just take a hack at a four seam if I see one. Getting my eyes adjusted to Randy here after facing Duran for two innings. That was a splitter right down the middle. I couldn't resist. <laughs> I know I was sitting four seam, but that just floated right in there. Jackie's got two hits. See if Buxton can do anything here. Maybe should have batted Buxton lower than two. But maybe he'll prove me wrong. Doesn't seem like this guy wants to throw me many fastballs. 2-0 here. I think we have Alonzo on deck. There's another splitter right down the middle. Buxton actually did something. <laughs> it's his better side. He's got 82 contact. Boom. Two hanging splitters. I think this guy's pitching a bit cute, to be honest. He, especially after that at bat I had with Hannes Wagner. He should be throwing a lot of sliders. And he should be pitching inside. We're early over the top there. It's a legend swing, but we get a huge no doubt bomb from Buxton to take a 3 nothing lead. Love to see it. Definitely a spot he could bunt here with Jackie. Maybe I should have thrown like a high fastball or something. I love this front door slider to righties too with Grinky. I think pitching inside to righties is so good with this card. He throws his slider hard enough where it's hard to react to it and like not swing through if you're not looking for it. And then, of course, you can work the sinker inside off the same tunnel. Really, really, really good. Uh, yeah, again, maybe a hot take, but I think Grinky's amazing despite his flaw. I think it's a little bit overblown, to be honest. Maybe if you play at the highest levels, like I'm sure there's some top players watching this that are like, you're a moron. <laughs> I guess that's the word of the day. But... I think for the average player, Grinky is good. You won't have any problems. All right, got Randy to chase. That's kind of a throwaway at bat with the pitcher up. Kind of a bummer for him. He didn't hit better to get, you know, a pinch hitter in the first two innings when he had a reliever in. And we're back to the top of his order. 19 pitches only through two and two-thirds. Try to work this. I want to go like sinker into, into front door slider here. Maybe he just swings at this one though. That was a bit too far inside, so we'll go to something else. Uh, let's 
try up and in sinker. This is maybe a risky pitch. Nice, got him swinging through it. Now we can just pop the tunnel right here, front door slider. Maybe he takes this for strike three. He was ready, that's okay. Gonna bury another change up. He hasn't shown me much plate discipline so far this game. Maybe he swings, hung it. Yikes. That was completely my fault. I'm pretty sure he hit that perfect with Cutchin and didn't hit it out. <laughs> so unlucky. I hung that with an early release on Penpoint. That was a thousand percent my fault. That's tough for him though. I will take my luck where I can get it though. Back to work on offense. Turning and burning on the 102. Now I imagine I'm getting slider inside. I'm going to try my darndest to not swing. It was a slurve instead. It's a tough dynamic, man. Can't swing too late at the slider. That's a great pitch, great spot. Randy's nasty. I've also been playing on All-Star for this entire season, so maybe my Hall of Fame eye needs some work and some reps. This Biggio card's been just okay for me so far this year. Nothing crazy. That's down the line. Hit really hard. Uh, I think we can get two on this despite the short wall. Uh, nice. We had good speed, and I think that's Soto and left. And I think we'll sit first pitch splitter here. Try to backdoor slider. We're definitely looking off speed. He is not going to want to throw us a fastball, I don't think. Okay, he threw us one. We'll take it. Like I said, taking away that fastball, things get really interesting. The thing that makes Randy good, though, is all his off speed's insane. This is a gigantic at bat. We actually have Castellanos versus a lefty in the all righty team build. <laughs> Does he pitch around us? Making it out here is so bad. Doesn't seem like he wants anything to do with Nick. Can't blame him with Hanus on deck in the at bat we had last time. I'll take my four pitch walk. This is actually, if you want to be scummy, this is a gig this is a really good time to uh, drag bunt to second base. There's a strong chance you beat it out. You essentially get yourself out of the double play and you probably score a run. But I'm not going to do it. Just food for thought. There's another hanging splitter. We're just under it. I don't know how I didn't hit that farther. I can't tag on this. This is tough. Bottom of the order woes. Just missed that. We're out by a thousand feet if we tag there, so we just gotta take RL and hope that Grinky can do something. Luckily we have a pitcher that can hit a little bit. Dang. Still looking for off speed. He threw three fastballs. This is an AB now. Nope. Uh, this has to be off speed, right? Right? Oh, I was late on the slider. Good pitch. Oh, it wasn't off speed enough. Not scoring there sucks, but we couldn't really do anything different, I don't think, except maybe bunted, bunting with Hannes, which I said I wasn't going to do. Uh, the Hannes at bat and swing was good. Just got a little bit underneath, and then, you know, we're not going to take Grinky out when he's thrown a shutout, so. What can you do? He did a nice job navigating that. Nice. This guy's play discipline hasn't been the greatest, so we're trying to take advantage of that. He's I've been throwing a lot more balls than strikes the last couple innings for sure, and pretty much when we've gotten to two strikes, we've gotten him to chase almost every time. So right now the goal is to throw as many strikes as we can, obviously, and the way we can throw strikes most likely right now is by throwing him balls. He's also been pretty consistently late on the slider and on the hands with a left-handed hitter, which you will find pretty consistently. Sometimes people will be out in front of it. Oh, Pete. His calf's going to get on base cheaply twice. <laughs> Dang. And if they are out in front of it, then you will want to uh, 
start throwing some change-ups and stuff. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. I'm trying to figure out what I want to throw here. I don't think I ever throw him anything for seam. This is an interesting way to get the tying run to the plate. I am terrified. Okay, I'm going to go up and in one pitch for show. Don't hit this out. Nice. Based on the swings he's been taking against the sliders, I think he's maybe trying to slow his bat down. So That's below the zone as well. He's going to get hosed though, Buxton. I don't even need a perfect throw. He's out by a thousand feet. So that's, I guess that's the difference in, you know, I guess you could call it managerial discipline. If we had sent our runner last inning, that's what would have happened. <laughs> like we had absolutely no shot of scoring. So you just, sometimes you just have to take the L. He wasn't really willing to take the L there. And it cost him another at bat. We have to go back to first, despite 98 speed. Jackie's three for three, though. Um, and yeah, it only allowed us to have a Grinky at bat, and we didn't convert on the Grinky at bat, but it allowed us to turn a, our lineup over and start this inning with Jackie instead of Grinky, right? So I got to stop swinging at that. I'm waiting for it to be a slider, though. What is he going to throw? Based on that swing, you would think he'd go off speed again. He's doing a good job staying ahead of me. Really don't want to swing at sliders inside here. I'm shocked he's not throwing it more after that first at bat I had against Randy. That's crushed. Is it out again? Dude, Buxton, no way. <laughs> of all the cards of this lineup to be popping off, Byron Buxton, two bombs, four RBIs. I don't know how I hit that 108 with the PCI there. I needed to take a pitch there. I was too hyped from the bomb. That was kind of right down the middle, though. We are cruising. This is really interesting. I was definitely expecting like a gameplay where someone like maybe uses an opener and then goes to a righty right away. Opener into Randy against this lineup is very weird. Obviously, we've been taking advantage pretty well so far. Those are a lot easier to lay off early in the count, let me tell you. Uh, maybe splitter here? Yeah. That's his favorite pitch. Seems like he trusts the splitter the most when he, like, needs a strike. Could be wrong with just a hunch. First pitch four seam. I think I'm hosed at second base. Whew. Barely got in there. Good at bats all around here. Four seam again. That's what he did last time. Good mix up. Okay, we were sitting all over that. I think I'm going to peel it back here and sit splitter this at bat, actually. Boom. Okay, so we have a bit of a read on him. I don't think I score here either. Yeah, we, oh, I didn't know he's going to pump fake. Dang. Well, if he didn't pump fake, we were out, so that's a good hold. But yeah, it seems like when he really needs a strike or like in general just trying to get ahead of me in the count, he's really looking for a splitter very often. That might be out too. Castellanos? Oh, that was crushed though. Eight runs here. Seven of them off Randy. Can Hannes Wagner do something? Again, kind of changing my approach a bit. Looking for splitter, but that allows me to hit slurves that are hanging and stuff, too. That's the most disgusting pitch I've ever seen. When somebody starts doing this down 8 nothing, it just reeks of desperation. <laughs> he hasn't slide-stepped once all game. He's like, how can I get a pitch by this guy? I'm going to send the runner here, actually, with the pitcher on deck. It's a decent risk-reward. Uh, I don't think that's leaving. Just late. Dang. 
Well, a Grinky Bomb gets us in Mercy Rule territory here. <laughs> Can we clutch up? Hannes has been the only guy in the lineup not hitting. Oh, <laughs> we wanted it so bad. And a pitch. Oh, and that one is dang, missing that one's tough. All good though. We're up eight nothing. Hopefully we can keep Grinky going with this shutout here. I don't think I've sh thrown a shutout in a long time on one of these videos. But yeah, using the right-handed team build has been fun. Definitely wasn't expecting to face mostly left-handed pitching. And really wanted to take an opportunity in a video to give my thoughts on Grinky and like long form content too, because I get asked about it a ton. Like like I said, the the tipped pitches thing has really like been a hot topic in the community. And he is just pressing like crazy. Said it earlier in the game, but he's chasing so much that we've got a good chance of Getting strikes early in the count by actually throwing balls. That was only our fourth strikeout, which is kind of surprising. I guess it makes sense. I should have been looking for this, I guess. Uh, doing it down 8 nothing's kind of interesting. Seems like he's steel bunting here, too. So I'm going to pitch out. I'm all over him. See ya. He took a lead immediately with his runner. So that's why I thought he might be steel bunting. Also, not pinch hitting here is kind of whack. Yeah, and he's just gone. Okay. <laughs> Solid episode all around. Um, I'm planning on doing a switch hitter team build next video to just kind of complete the trifecta of lefty-righty switch. So that's going to be the next one. But if you guys want to see a full right-handed gameplay again, um, let me know because... You know, obviously facing Randy wasn't really in the cards there when I had the video in mind. I don't know what's going on with my internet again. Hopefully I got the win for that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.